Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, I'm Che and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my painting videos. Today, uh, we'll be painting some donuts because I've been wanting to paint uh, donuts um, like a couple of weeks back, but uh, I've been putting it off because, all right, I'll just do a landscape or I'll just do another still life. But now I just want to do this um finally because yeah i just want to paint these donuts and let's see how it goes so i'm gonna tell you first the colors that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial we have of course titanium white i can never uh dispense with my titanium white every time i do any painting and then black um burnt sienna lemon yellow and we'll be using a little bit of blue and red later, but that would be for the sprinkles. So I'm going to sketch first the subject and show you how things are going to go. And for that, I'll be using my... Um, I'm just going to use my burnt sienna. Okay, I'm just going to sketch it first so that you see the shape of the subject. So, okay, I'm going to do the first donut. All right. First, we do the shape, okay? Don't worry too much about anything else. Okay. We'll be doing three donuts on top of each other. It, they look like um, cupcakes, but I assure you they're not cupcakes. They're donuts. Trust me. <laughs> Okay, this is just the shape of the donuts. Okay, yeah, just like that. <laughs> All right, now, okay, I'm gonna underpaint. Okay, let me uh, show you first where the glazing is gonna go. So I'm still gonna use my um brown or burnt sienna and the glazing will be like that okay it's like that So yes, that's it. <laughs> Excuse me, I just cleared my throat. <laughs> so now I'm gonna sketch or I'm gonna underpaint the bread first before the glazing. All right, so I'm gonna use a medium sized brush. Any brush will do as long as it gets good coverage. My consideration is time more than anything else because if I use a small brush and I only get to cover uh small surface area and then that will be a waste of time i think so i'm just gonna use a fairly big brush and i'm gonna get my burnt sienna still my black i'm just gonna combine the two colors a little bit of yellow or maybe not i'm just gonna use my brown okay this is too brown I'm going to add more burnt sienna so that it becomes a little more orangey type of color. This is just the underpainting, so definitely uh, this is not the color, the actual color. We're just trying to get the dark values first. I'm alternately using burnt sienna and black. Alright, 
as you can see here I'm already adjusting as I go with the underpainting all right like that okay and in the same manner I'm just gonna use the same color as you can see I started with the middle I don't know I'm like that I start anywhere anywhere I want Again, for the bread underpainting, you just have to use your burnt sienna and black. Okay, just like this. Okay, like that. And same, that should go right here. okay like that so it's dark brown so the bread part for the donuts are already underpainted i'm gonna dab onto my black get your black and just underpaint the last two donuts the glazings of the last two donuts this one is more of a vanilla flavor i don't like vanilla by the way but this looks good for the painting. Any white frosting is just not for me. I'm just a chocolate person. I love chocolates. I don't know. Chocolates are probably one of the best comfort food that comfort foods that I would uh, go for. Okay, again, for the last or for the third donut right here, just color it black. Okay, and we're gonna underpaint the topmost donut. And for that, I'll be using my white, a little bit of yellow, okay, and a little bit of brown. Okay, it should be like this, like milky, browny, yellowy color. And as I go with the underpainting I erase already the uh, sketch lines because I'm not a fan of retaining any sketch lines
Okay, so you can see here I'm trying to cover it already. You know, what I like about painting donuts is that it's like, you know, similar to my other paintings or painting waters. Um, it's like abstract, but with uh, an obvious sense. You already know that it's a donut. You don't have to interpret it. But the way we're doing it, it's more of an abstract way because we're painting asymmetrical subject. We're not doing any perfect circles right here. Everything is asymmetrical. Just again thickening the underpainting for this so that I get to cover the under the sketch line. I really don't like the sketch lines. Alright. We've basically underpainted the three donuts that you see here. Now all we have to do is detailing. Okay. That quick. Okay, when you get the bulk of the job done, so much easier for us to do or to enjoy the detailing part. Okay, now I'm gonna use um, some yellowy color and then brown. Okay, okay brown. And we're going to identify or make some detailing on the on the donuts on the bread part. I'm just going around um, the area between the glaze and the bread. Okay, I'm going to get my black. Oops, that's too black. Okay, I'm just going to darken. So that we make our donuts more dimensional. Okay, I'm gonna make some black. like that <coughs> okay like that now using black again I'm going to use a smaller brush using black I'm just gonna outline the, the bread so just go around the bread just try to outline it quite um, subtle. Alright. Alright. Okay. Now let's do some detailing. I'm gonna use some um, gray color. So I'm gonna get my white and add a little bit of black. Okay, we're gonna dry brush, remove the excess water from the brush, and I'm gonna make some gloss. I 
I don't know why I keep starting in the middle. I don't know why. I feel like where my eyes is fo where my eyes are focused, it's where I start. <laughs> Okay, again, just use some gray color. Oops, okay, some brown is mixing, but it's all right. Okay, and using white as well, I'm going to brighten the topmost portion of the glaze of this donut. Okay, like that. I'm gonna get my yellow, mix it with my existing white here. I'm gonna add brown. And in the same manner, we're gonna dry brush. Oops. Did you see that? I'm just gonna erase this one. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna paint it over with white. I accidentally um, applied yellow paint. I'm gonna apply a little bit of black here and there. Now, I'm going to get my black again, and I'm going to make some dashes like this, short dashes. This is to give shadow to the sprinkles. Just do this. We're not yet doing it, but just do this. This will just give it more sh or shadow. I know that this is already black, but it will be visible later. Okay, now let's do some like knots, like uh, knots, like brush strokes. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. Okay, add white, add yellow. Okay, add white. So it's like this. And I'm gonna make some short dashes over those little black lines that we had, but do not paint over. Make sure that they, um, the black, um, the black brush strokes are bigger than this, not like 
brush strokes. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> it's so hard to explain sometimes. Okay, like that. I'm gonna get my white, try to highlight some some of those nuts. That's the first donut. I kind of like it already. It looks nice. <laughs> okay, this will be a donut with sprinkles and this will be with uh, glaze on glaze. Okay, I'm gonna get my red. We'll be using red, but I did not mention that earlier because we will only be using just a tiny amount of it. And then using red, okay, using red, I'm gonna mix it with black like this color, making it like berry, berry juice color or wine color, red wine. And I'm going to create some a glaze. Right here, like that. Okay, just. So that would be the glazing portion for that donut. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow, a little bit of brown, and then white. More white and brown. I'm gonna use this browny yellowy color. I'm gonna add a little bit of black actually to add some shadows to this glaze glazing on the first donut or the topmost donut. I'm gonna darken. Oops, that's too dark. Uh, I'm gonna wash my brush out. 
we're gonna dab onto my white again Yeah, using white, I'm gonna cover some areas. Okay, it's still wet. to give it perspective okay like that Let me check. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do a little more detailing later. For now, let's allow it to be like that. I'm going to get my black. Using black, let's go and make some dimension on the topmost donut. Just gonna go around that glaze to give it shadow. Okay, you may want to mix it with your brown or red. All right, I'm gonna get more burnt sienna because I feel like, yeah, I still need more burnt sienna. Remember when I told you that we will be correcting this one? Let's do it now. It's not super perfect correction, but at least it's not that visible. Yeah. Gonna, I'm just gonna go around the donut as well so that I also delete those unnecessary lines that went outside my sketch so if you're correcting some areas like what I'm doing this is the best time for you to re-outline your subject okay 
All right, that's good. Definitely we'll be doing a lot more details on the top. Okay, let's go down here so that we move on. Oh, by the way, let's get some white since we already have our white here. Let's go and make some... Some highlights. Some yellow brownie colors just to highlight the bread. Dark browns. So burnt sienna plus black. Black as well. Okay, now let's get some gray. We already had that color earlier. Let's highlight the third donut. Just observe how I'm doing it, okay? Adding some burnt sienna. So make it look as natural as possible. I said we're going to do the third donut, but here I am doing the second donut. Forgive me, guys. I don't have, you know, uh, I don't follow strict plans. <laughs> Even if I said it, that doesn't mean I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right. Okay, that, that's, that really looks good. All right, so let's proceed to the third donut. Just like what I was saying earlier. Okay, now I'm going to get some... Uh huh. Yellow and white. Let's do some yellow sprinkles. Okay. That's one, two. You have to be quite random here. There's no particular way. There's no particular um, pattern. Just do as you want. You can do whatever color that it is that you want for your donut. It's your donut anyway. I'm gonna get my red and mix it with the yellow. So that I create that pinkish orangey color like that. Very lovely. Okay. Try to overlap as well. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my white. Let's make some white sprinkles. And while I'm with this white color, I'm gonna highlight some knots that I see here. that okay I'm gonna get again my gray get your gray we need to gray some areas right here Just gonna gray some areas to give it more dimension. Let me check. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, now I'm gonna mix my white with some brown and yellow. Okay. This is to give it more light play. So as you can see here, I'm dabbing it. I'm dabbing the paint using my paintbrush but I'm using my hand in actually blending the colors black
Okay, I'm gonna get my brown again. And then brown and black right here. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown and yellow. I'm gonna lighten a bit that bread part near the glaze because it's catching light. Mm -hmm. If you're like me, <laughs> All right, like doing mistakes like this, be patient with yourself. It's okay. I want to add more nuts. Add some shadows. Okay, and then some black. Let me just uh, sip water. All right, this looks good already, right? All right, let's proceed. This, this one is weird because I had to erase that paint that I accidentally dabbed on. Okay, let's correct this. Let me check. Okay. I need to add more sprinkles. So I'm going to get my phthalo blue.
So using my tail of blue, I'm just going to mix it with white. Let's create some blue sprinkles. Okay, like that. <clears throat> now, using black, I'm just gonna glaze um, certain areas because this is not receiving light or enough light. It should be quite darker. All right, just like that. Okay, in the same manner, right here, just glaze it with black. Okay, good, very good. And again. I'm going to add a little bit of shadows. Okay, like that. Okay, using black again, let's just make some dark highlighting. I call it highlighting, even if it's dark. I don't know if that's correct. Let's just call it dark markings. All right, like that. Some yellow browns. some more highlights using yellow yeah I like it oh my gosh this is good okay let's create some more
Okay, this is nice. Wow, this is good. Okay. Again, try to... Correct those lines. Okay, if you think you need to add more sprinkles, it's up to you. Let me check. Oh my gosh! I think I highlighted this area too much. I'm gonna get my brownie color and black. I just, okay. I highlighted it too much. And I'm adding some brown. I know that we keep layering, we keep going back and forth, but that's how it is, you know? Okay, I really love this one. Oh my God. Absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I can sign this now. It's all good. Right, guys? So I'm going to sign this now. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to get my white. I just want to fix this um, glaze. So I'm just glazing it with white. Literally glazing it.
Okay, this is really good. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now because I love it already. Wait, before I sign it, Okay, I'm going to sign this now. So I'm going to sign this now. I like it. I'm going to use a small brush. I'm going to use my black. And sign my donut painting. Right here. Okay, yep. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I hope you do this one as well. So I'm going to link in the description box below my other desserts, painting tutorials so that you can choose among them or you can have a wide uh, selection when it comes to painting desserts. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you do this one as well. I hope you like this video and see you in my next one. Mm-hmm, 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 m